our Father and God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeem. Amen. John 1, 1 to 5. The revelation of God the Father in Jesus his Son. John gives his testimony about Jesus' identity and told us that Jesus is the only way to our Father God. In the beginning was the Word, refers to timeless eternity. The Word existed before creation. God the Father and the Son are equal but has distinct personality. Everything that is said of God can be said about Jesus, all-knowing, full of wisdom, power, holiness, goodness, truth. Psalms 33, verse 6 say, By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. Without God, nothing exists, and in him there was a spiritual light as well as natural light. Jesus is the word. He is life and light. Without Jesus, we were dead and in darkness. Darkness cannot overshadow light. Six to eight, there was a man sent from God to bear witness of the light. John was the forerunner of Jesus Christ. He came to shed a light about Jesus, that people would believe in Jesus. He testified by establishing truth about Jesus. And accepting Jesus in our lives is the best thing for us today. 9 to 11, Jesus is the reason why we have a chance at eternal life. Yet the world was made by him and human rejected him. His own he went to and they did not receive him. But those who accepted him received the right to become children of God by a new birth. It is by faith that one will accept Christ. The word was made flesh and dwell among us. Jesus came looking for us. Christ took on human birth and lived here on earth. He resided with man who saw him face to face. He was full of grace and truth. John stated that Jesus was here before him. He would baptize with the Holy Spirit and fire. And John stated also that the baptism, his baptism was with water, but Jesus was mightier than he was, and he was not worthy enough to unlatch his sandal. 32, he shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. The religious leaders wanted to know who John was. If he was a Christ, he told them he was not. Are you Elijah or a prophet, they asked. It was said that a prophet would come, so they believed that was John. He told the messengers that he was the one who would prepare the way for the Messiah. The messengers asked John if he was not the Christ or one of the prophets, why do we baptize them? He answered that he baptized with water, but one who is coming after him, he was not worthy. He could not walk in his shoes. The interview took place in Bethany where John was baptizing. Christ was human example for us. Jesus was baptized. 29, the next day John saw Jesus coming and presented him as the lamb of God who take it away the sins of the world, a sacrificial lamb. John spoke of Jesus who will come and was preferred because he was before him. John's response is that he did not know Jesus personally, but he came to baptize with water that Jesus will be revealed in Israel. 32. John testified that when Jesus was baptized, a spirit like a dove descending from heaven will be rested on him and remain. God told John, that the one whom the Spirit descended and remained on will baptize with the Holy Ghost. John was sent by God as a testimony. 34, John bears record, this is the Son of God. The next day, John and two disciples saw Jesus. 
John referred to Jesus as the Lamb of God. Both disciples followed him. Jesus saw them and asked why they sought after him. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, called him rabbi, meaning master, inquiring where he would stay. Jesus bid them follow him. It was late, so they stayed overnight. 41, Andrew looked, at his, Andrew looked for his brother, telling him that the Messiah was found, bringing him to Jesus. Jesus recognized him. He was Simon, the son of Jonas, called Cephas, interpretation, a stone. The next day, Jesus went to Galilee and found Philip, bidding him to follow him. 44, Philip, Andrew, and Peter were from Bethsaida. Philip told Nathanael they have found Jesus, whom Moses wrote about in law. About this prophet, Jesus of Nazareth, son of Joseph. Nazareth. Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Nathanael asked. Philip told him to come see Jesus. Jesus saw Nathanael coming, stated, here truly is an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. How did you know me, Nathaniel asked. Jesus told him, I saw you before Philip called. You were under the fig tree. Nathaniel said, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered him, "It is. is it because... You, I saw you under the fig tree. Why you believe? Thou shalt see greater things there hereafter. Jesus told him that he will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on, on the Son of Man. Amen.